What's up everyone, Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video. Today we're checking out the new Pagani Zonda. This is a really cool car. Alright, we're going to do a stage 6 maxed out shift pattern and tune. We're also going to do it on stage 5 and then we're going to see if we can find a live racing tune for it. And we'll do a review on the car as well. So, let's go ahead and get to the stage 6 maxed out shift pattern and tune. And thank you to Nitro for CSR for letting me use your account. That way I can make videos for cars that I don't have on my account. Please remember to like and subscribe and you can check out my brand new reaction YouTube channel in this video's description along with my Discord server if you'd like to join that. We'd love to see you over there on the new channel and the Discord. Alright, so if the car is 100% maxed out, you've got all the stage 6 and all the fusions, you want to move the nitrous all the way to the right. Final drive at 2.55 and tires at 26 psi and you got a little 53 and a 47 over here all right so this is all the stage six and all the fusions let's go show you how to drive this guy all right so what we're going to do is hold down the gas let go of it a little bit before we hit the number one you want to launch around like 5,000 rpms or something like that you do not want all right you do not want a perfect start on this car so right after the car launches a split second later shift into second and then shift into third right around 3000 ish rpms then all the shifts are pretty much right before the red line after that all right nitrous on fourth gear nitrous on fourth guys all right so it's capable of running a 7.14 something but you're probably going to hit seven twos it's not easy to get a perfect run let's give this one a go three two one go second third fourth and nitrous fifth sixth and that's pretty much how you drive this car right here um that seems to be the fastest way when the car is maxed out if you get a perfect run it will run 7.14 something i keep getting 7.2 it's not easy to get a perfect run most of the time if you don't get your start just right and your shift just right, you're probably going to get seven twos, all right? The car has a dyno time of a 7.349. So even on kind of a bad run like that one where we didn't hit the seven ones, it still, it still did pretty good, right? Still did pretty good. Let's go ahead and see what we can do with this car on stage five. Okay, so if you set the car to all stage five parts, I'm going to show you how to tune it and drive it, and we're actually going to use the same exact shift pattern as we did on stage 6. This car doesn't seem to change. I ran through many shift patterns and came up with the same one. Alright, so nitrous all the way over to the right on stage 5. Final drive at 3.28. Tire pressure at 27 PSI. You got 56 and 44 over here. And we're going to do the exact same shift pattern as we did last time, right? Three, two, one, go. Second, third, fourth and nitrous. Fifth, sixth. And that's really about all there is to it on this car. Very fun car to drive. Very easy to drive. Very cool car. So now we're going to go see if we can find a good live racing tune for this. What we're going to look for... Okay, that was a little slower. We've hit 9.440. Last run was a 9.429, and my fastest run was a 9.413. With a dyno time of a 9.579, so it is a dyno beating car. Alright, so far, so good. Let's see if we can find one of those live racing tunes. Alright, so we're going to do a quick little review, and then I'll show you the live racing tune. So first off, if you can get enough parts installed in this car, it will definitely beat the Tempest races, all right? It's got a top speed of around 390 miles per hour. It'll do 0 to 60 in 0 0.7, 0 to 100 in 1.2, which is actually pretty good, right? Those are really good times. It's an overall very nice car. I wouldn't say it's anything crazy special. It does beat Dino by a little bit. It's nice and fast. This car is going to be pretty good at everything, but probably great at nothing. All right. So bottom line, should you upgrade this car? If you can get the parts for it and you don't have a good tier five car laying around. Sure. All right. Sure. It, it might be worth upgrading. It's probably not going to be the world's greatest, but I can see why some people would want to upgrade it and 
use it me personally i probably wouldn't upgrade it unless you actually need it for an event or something like that all right so let's go check out this little live racing tune i figured out and then we'll go test that out and see how it does on some live races all right so low performance point high evo upgrade we've got it up to 1596 all right so we're gonna go ahead and start with our engine we're gonna put our engine back to stock fit your turbo to stage one fit your intake to stage three nitrous on stock body stage one tires stage five transmission stage five now you might be able to squeeze a little more out of it if you put the tires of the transmission up to stage six but we're trying to find a good lower low performance point high evo tune that doesn't require you to put any stage six parts on here so let's go live race this um, actually, let me show you the tune before we go live race it. So the nitrous is not tunable at all. The nitrous, don't worry about it. You cannot tune the nitrous because we have the nitrous set to uh, stock. All right. Final drive at 4.27. Tires at 26. We got 53 over 47 up here. All right. And that gives us a dyno time of 11.668. Our goal is to win live races and run slower than the 11.668. If we're running faster than the 11668, the car is probably going to get pushed into faster and faster lobbies. And that's the whole point of these low performance high Evo tunes is for that not to happen. All right. Generally, you want to look for three times the amount of Evo as you have on the performance points. But we didn't quite hit it on this. All right. We want to have like 1800 plus on the Evo, but we got almost 1600. So it's close enough to where this car is probably going to do really darn good and have a nice lobby advantage. And it should win live races without having to beat the dyno time. So let's go test that out real quick. All right. So we're going to race this Toyota Supra and see how it goes. I haven't actually tested out a shift pattern normally, normally on things like this. Well, we don't even have to worry about our nitrous, but normally on things like this, we just shift early in the second gear and all good shifts. Second gear. All right. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and we're going to win this thing. And I'm going to slow down. All right. I downshifted twice before we crossed the finish line because like I said, we do not want to beat our dyno time. There we ran 11.765. He ran a 12.0, so let's go ahead and try and do one more live race with this thing. So there's not a lot of people in this current live racing lobby, but we did beat the Supra. All right, we know the Supra is a really good car. The Supra is a really good car. This guy must have a down tune or something because he just bet me, which means he's probably got something good going on with that. But let's go ahead and run this one. Ooh, man, I just got destroyed. That guy must have a ridiculous down tune because he beat me by I don't even know how much. So that one doesn't count. He ran a 9.7. That guy's got a dino destroying down tune. You don't see that too often, but he must be beating dino by several seconds. Man. All right, that one didn't count. <laughs> And now we're going to race this Gamera, and I also have a crazy feeling that this Gamera could be unbelievably ridiculously down-tuned as well. But let's go ahead and give it a try. Three, two, one, go, second. All right, the down-tuned cars, guys, you're not going to stand a chance against the down-tuned cars. All right, most cars, this should be able to win in live racing, no problem. But the down-tuned cars that have decided to tune their car to just destroy everybody in live racing. All right. Those cars you are never going to beat. There we ran an 11.670. He ran an 11.8. So bottom line, we just beat a Gamera, which is a great live racer. We beat a Supra, by a, which is a great live racer. And we got destroyed by some guy with a massive down tune, which I don't care what car I was in. I would have lost to that down tune. So my advice, if you are going to upgrade this car, I probably wouldn't max it out. I would use that live racing tune, right? This will probably be a really good live racer according to the test we just run. 
Um, you know, it, it's kind of hard to know for sure unless you run a lot of live races, which on this account, I really don't want to do. I try to do as little real racing with this account as possible. All right. But we need to test things out sometimes. So it's okay to go and run a couple races real quick just for testing purposes. But this should do pretty good. All right. This should do really good for live racing. And it's going to be good at everything, but not great at anything except for maybe live racing with this particular tune I just showed you. All right, guys. Hope you liked the video and we will catch you next time. All right. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out my Discord. Check out my new YouTube channel, guys. There's a link to all that stuff in this video's description. And we will catch you next time. You guys are awesome. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.